Every year, criminals launder trillions of dollars. That's enough money to vaccinate the entire world against COVID-19 dozens of times. Or to provide high-quality, free schooling to every child across Europe. Under current compliance practices, less than 2% of this money is identified, stopped and confiscated. Which means 98% of it continues to fund crime. Financial institutions are trying, but they simply cannot see the whole picture. They're using technology developed in the 1970s. They're operating in isolation, while criminals work across borders. That's why we built AML Breach the information and data exchange platform that helps financial institutions fight crime more effectively. It allows banks to collect the missing puzzle pieces by securely connecting them with other banks and regulators. Creating a data-rich network that levels the playing field against criminals across borders and across legal jurisdictions. Let's destroy the criminals' business models. Let's make AML Bridge the new standard in crime fighting. Hello everyone. I want to talk about massive problem in the world that's increasing crime around us. If you think about human trafficking uh, from Belarus, if you think about corruption in Afghanistan, if you think about the uh, investment scam that maybe your friends or family are targeting, or if you think about the environmental crime, this is all getting worse and worse. And why it is so? It is because like, it's so easy to launder the criminal proceeds that criminals are making from these activities. And uh, like about four trillion US dollars every year is being laundered and less than 1% of that is being caught. That's the problem that my team is re resolving now. And for that, we have built up a platform which is called AML Bridge, which helps banks and fintechs to exchange information about possible crime, about suspicious transactions, high risk customers between themselves in a fast and secure way. And it uh, really helps them because like, uh, Criminals are working in the networks, but today banks and fintechs are working in silos and they need to come together to beat the, the financial crime. And we have great proof that actually the technology that we have built already works. We have won, over the last year, we have won 90% or 99% of one specific market. And the majority of Estonian banks are already, already using the bridge platform. They're exchanging messages every day, tens of messages about the possible crime, uh, like about suspicious transactions. And the first tens of thousands of euros are being already saved thanks to the platform that they're using. So there's a great evidence, a great belief in us. And all these banks are actually now inviting their colleagues from other institutions, from the banks and from the fintechs to join the network because they see that there is a real benefit in it. And, and also like uh, these banks trust us because we have built a team like, which is experts, crime fighting experts, technology experts, we have worked together back in Skype, we have worked together back in WISE, and now we're building the own company, and this trust is actually visible in the banks as well. But uh, unfortunately, crime doesn't stop on the borders of Estonia or any country. Criminals are working internationally. There are international networks, and that's why we are expanding our bridge network to other countries and other financial sectors as well. So like, we're working closely with the Baltics, we're working closely with the UK, who's like, uh, there's already great passion and projects to kick off the bridges in these countries. There are regions outside of Europe, uh, financial centers, which are really interested to work with us. And together with these kind of uh, innovative places, innovative companies, we know that we can beat financial crime. And uh, if your company or your government, you're part of the FSA, FIU, please come to us at uh, Money 2020 next, year, next week and talk to us. So we'll explain how you can join us uh, and uh, help to beat the financial crime. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tavi. Um, it seems like almost everybody's going to be in Money 2020. It almost seems like uh, there is some sort of Estonian pavilion that you should uh, go visit in Amsterdam, uh, where all of these different fintechs are going to be uh, present as well. And we've got several questions. I don't know if we can go through all of them, but we'll try. Um, so your work requires collaboration in a sort of no-trust environment by, by nature, and not just between the banks, but also the public sector. Uh, who is usually the hardest partner to get on board for cross-border AML data exchange? 
It's a really good question. There are, these are the people, different people in the banks, um, in the FSAs, in the FIUs. Mm. There are like multiple decision makers, multiple layers, and we need to build trust among each of them. We need to bring people together, like in Amsterdam, in uh, Vilnius, in London, to get them around the table, to talk to each other, to have a common lunch, to explain their worries. Uh, and this is like the foundation of the trust building. Mm. And on the top of that, we can build and share technology as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, would you say that the crimes in, in these different areas that have become public over the last few years, that they've made uh, your work a bit easier because you can justify it more easily? Uh, have they created more interest towards your solution? Yes, that's, uh, that's true. That the money laundering usually is invisible, invisible. No one sees it. There are no victims uh, close to the money and no one is blaming banks because of money laundering. Yeah. But actually the real crime, scam, spam, like fraud, these are the like smaller amounts, but people around us are suffering. They're losing their life savings. Uh, they're losing their loans. Uh, and, uh, and it's more emotional to work with this kind of fraud. But it's like tiny, tiny comparing to the real money laundering. But definitely this kind of PR made by the fraudsters helps uh, to expand uh, the story that we're telling about the actual money laundering fighting as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so there is an AML bridge happening in, in Estonia. Uh, how's that going these days? It's really incredibly well because like banks, as I said, like they are trusting the system, they're trusting mm -hmm. each other, they're exchanging messages. I see every day tens of messages going back and forth about possible crime, confirmed crime, prevented losses. And now like we just last night came back from Lithuania where like mm -hmm. Lithuanian banks and fintechs are super eager to join the platform network as well. So it, it's expanding as every good, uh, well-performing network uh, between the people. As, as it should, yeah. Uh, very good, Tavi. Thank you so much for, for your thoughts.